In this week's video, I'm going to show you how we went from this slide to this slide. Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free? And then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be a little different from the rest. I got an email from a SlideCow follower and it reads, Dear Yoyo, I love your tutorials and have been following you since December of last year. I was wondering if you could help me out. I work for a small wedding planning company and I was thinking of making a small company presentation that can show off our social media followers to the team. The thing is, your tutorials are fantastic, but I really want to approach this in a unique and creative way. If you could, can you show me how you can turn something as bland as this into something beautiful? Sincerely, Jen L. Well Jen, I don't usually do this, but I think it's about time I started to. I'm going to make this slide that you sent to me right here, right in front of us, amusing. Let's get started. Step 1. Get a high resolution image. I've made a blog post on SlideCow's website showing you 4 websites where you can find beautiful stock photos for absolutely free. You can check that post out by clicking on the info button in the top right or by simply clicking on the link in the description. Just to speed things up though, I'm going to be using this image right over here. Remember, Jen works in a wedding company which is why we chose this image in particular to reinforce the theme. So with this image in mind, let me just close this. I'm going to move this to the left and I'm going to blow it up and I'm just going to move it somewhat in the middle just over here. Then I'm going to go to format, crop. I'm just going to crop into the slide canvas so that I know that the slide is of high quality. It's not stretched out, right? It maintains its aspect ratio and as well as the fact that like, you know, um, all, all the images contained within the slide, right? All right, cool. That's done now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this image over here and I'm going to make it black and white. And the reason why I want to make it black and white is because I'm going to make an overlay effect uh, after this. So let's go to color. When we, in the format tab with the image selected, go to color and just click on saturation zero. That makes it black and white, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to insert. We're going to click on shapes and then we're going to click on this rectangle right over here. And with that done, I'm just going to go to Format. I'm going to click on Shape Fill. I'm going to click on Shape Outline, No Outline. And the reason why I made the Shape Fill red over here is because I've noticed that the title is also red. So I don't know if that title is supposed to be inconsistent with the brand or, or whatever. But I chose it because, you know, I just wanted to show that there was some sort of connection to the slide that she sent me, which is this one right here. So with that said, I'm just going to click on this red square that I filled out all over the slide. Go to Format. Go to Shape Fill. Go to more fill colors and then we're just going to click on 50. Let's go with 50%. I think that looks absolutely great. And that is the first step completed. Step two, implement the slide basics. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to view and make sure that my guides are on, right? They have to be on. Now I'm just going to make sure that the margin and the border of the slide is set. And the reason why is because I don't want any of my data or any of my shapes or any of my components or my images to go beyond right, a certain space in my slide. And make, let's make sure it's all you know, packed neatly together. So I'm gonna move this to the left by holding control and dragging it to the left. And I'm gonna take note of the number here, which is 1660, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing just over here. 1660, perfect, okay. I'm going to bring this down over here. This is going to be 920 and this is going to also be 920 at the top. Perfect. All right. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to set a certain area for my title, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drag up this one by holding control and moving the line all the way up to, let's just say here. So at six, um, six point oh, this little area, which I'm going to color in now, will be our title. So let's do that. Let's just add our title over here. Let's go to insert. Let's go to text box. Bring that up over here and call it social media followers. 
I'm gonna change the font to something that I like and I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna increase the size of that and just bring it to the middle. Just bring it downwards a bit. And I think that's perfect. So that we have social media followers at the top of the slide there. So once the title is set out, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some text at the bottom of the slide that basically sums up what uh, the, the audience is seeing on it, right? It's just a couple of sentences and I didn't spend all my copywriting skills on it, but it's good to give that level of attention to a slide uh, to sort of, you know, sort of explain or give the chance to explain what's on there, right? So um, I'm just gonna go to insert. I'm gonna go to text box and just draw it out for you here. And it reads, uh, we have a comprehensive, I should make that white before I read it. Yep. So we have a comprehensive digital communication plan in order to highlight that we are the best wedding planners in the area. We do this to engage potential clients and ensure they appreciate that extra level of personal attention when it is their time to choose a wedding plan. So um, I'm just going to center this over here. And I just, I'm not too happy with the font, so I'm going to change that to source sans, I think. I think that's much better. And I'm just going to increase, sorry, increase the size of it just twice like this and just bring that down over here and i think that is absolutely perfect and that is the second step completed step three add the data so we have three numbers we're looking at we have facebook at 14,739, we have instagram at 4,500, and we have twitter at 3,900. i've sort of noticed that um for some reason these two numbers over here are you know rounded up or or like it's kind of funny if they're exactly that, but nevertheless, let's just say um, they're rounded up to uh, their hundreds, and this one here is at 39. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that sort of inconsistency. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to add plus signs. We're going to change this to 4,700 plus, right? And then 4,500 plus and 3,900 plus, which indicates that um, these numbers, right, are subject to change at the time of the presentation. They're obviously going to increase, uh, assuming that they uh, execute their plan correctly. So that's why we put these little plus, so they can capture the little ones and twos uh, when it comes time to present or, you know, after a week or two or whatever. So these are the numbers we're going to go with, right? So let's start off with the Facebook one. I'm going to copy and paste this title over here. And, whoops, I'm just going to reduce the... Uh, font size of this to around, let's say, I don't know, uh, 20? I think, yeah, 20 is fine. So I'm gonna reduce that, and I'm just put it in Facebook over here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to hold Control and Shift and drag down the same title, the Facebook title over here, and I'm gonna make this 14,000 plus, except I'm going to increase, right? I'm going to increase the font size of this, sort of dramatically, something like that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm just gonna bring down another one that says followers, right? But this time I'm gonna use this font because it's less, you know, it's less uh, less out there, right? And that font is Source Sans. So I'm just gonna copy in to Source Sans over here. And I'm going to make sure that it is smaller, just like that. Make sure that these two guys are aligned like this. Bring that down over here. Bring this down over here. Again, I can fix up positioning later. I'm not too worried about that. And I can just group these guys up and I can make one, I can make two. So this one is Instagram. And this is at 4,500 followers, 4,500 plus, sorry. And Twitter at 3,900 plus, all right. And uh, with that done, I can just position these guys where I want to and just make sure that everything is distributed as perfectly as it can. So I'm going to go to Arrange, I'm going to go to Align and Distribute Horizontally. Perfect. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of extra flair. I think there's room for that. So I'm going to highlight everything and ungroup it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Insert, Shapes and click on this line over here just draw a line over the Facebook and make this line white and increase the weight by around, let's go with three points, that's fine. Zoom in, just draw it downwards like this and duplicate it, oops, and group it up, sorry, and just drag it over here. Same thing over here. Oh. 
Perfect. And that is the third step completed. Step four, add the icons. All right, so I'm going to be using these three icons over here, right? A Facebook icon, a Twitter icon, an Instagram icon. And these icons are completely editable, completely editable. However, I'd like to edit them. If you do not know how to bring in icons like these into your PowerPoint slide, then please watch a video that Slidecout did by clicking on the info button on the top right. You can also watch that same video or that same tutorial by clicking on uh, a link that will be provided in the description. So um, I'm going to be using this Facebook one over here. I'm just gonna bring it in the middle, just like that. And I'm gonna make it obviously uh, white. And I'm gonna bring in my Twitter one, put it over here, make sure it's in the middle. And I'm gonna make this white. And I'm gonna bring in my Instagram one and put it in the middle. And I'm gonna make sure this is also white. And that is the fourth step done. Step five, fine tune everything. All right, so this is the fun step now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look around everywhere on the slide and make sure that there are slight adjustments that I can make to make this slide look better. For one, I think that the font size here is too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this to around 16 and I'm going to make sure that it's in the middle by doing this, by reducing the size uh, of its width, right? And bringing it down in the middle. I think that looks much better. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on all of these three social media icons over here. And I'm gonna go to arrange, I'm gonna go to align, and then I'm gonna go to align middle to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned the way I would like it to see, right? So it's, uh, you know, all the icons are aligned in sort of uh, horizontal path, which is perfect. Um, let's also bring up these icons just a bit. And let's also bring up the text. The text is too far away from the title. So I'm just gonna bring this up just like that. While also reducing the size, right, of the followers. So I wanna bring this down to around 14. Yeah, 14 is fine. So then we can also just bring up a little text to just be like that, right? And I think that looks perfect. That looks so great. So then we can just highlight everything individually, just like that. Well, just like that, really. And what I can also do is I can attempt to bring this to the left a bit, and bring this to the right a bit, just like that. And uh, I can highlight everything, go to arrange, align, distribute horizontally, press on control G to group everything up, bring it down to the middle, ungroup it again, because I wanted to bring in all the different components together. And I think now what we can do is make the red just a bit darker, right? By clicking on the shade that we had before, go to format, go to more fill colors, and just make that a bit darker. Like that, and I think that looks much better. That looks absolutely fantastic. And we're done. Jen, I hope this helps you, and I hope this helps the many other Slycow followers seeking to make their slides amusing. Guys, I'm open to everything. Jen sent me an email. You can send me an email as well. That doesn't mean necessarily that I'm going to choose you to make a video about you, but you know, I think this if this truly does help you learn better, putting everything into practical reason, then this is something that I think would be worth the time. Please be sure to like this video, comment on it, you know, share it with your colleagues, with your boss, whoever. Um, please also be sure to uh, go to slidecow.com and please sign up to our mailing list. I'd really appreciate it if you do. And of course, guys, if you have anything, need any advice, just, you know, email me. I respond to everything. I read everything. YouTube comments, Reddit comments, you know, email, the, the, the posts on the social media, on the, on, the, on the website of Slidecow, anything you guys want. So guys, have a great day. Enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.